Yeah, really good. Uh, we we trained in combinations. I think for the last couple of weeks, you know, mixed and match, and had the opportunity to train with him. And uh, yeah, really good. He's he's a good um, good young player. He's performed really well over the, the course of Super Rugby and uh, trained really well. So uh, really looking forward to the opportunity of playing with Matt. Uh, he's a player that's very solid in all areas. You know, he's um, he doesn't like to complicate things for the guys inside and outside him. And he's got a really good kicking game, good passing game. He's he's an exceptional. Uh, defender, so we, we can look to use that uh, as a strength, putting pressure on them in that area. And um, you see a little bit more once you get to know the person, and once you train with them, and you, you I guess, develop a little bit of a combination. So uh, there's a lot in his game that I didn't know that he had that uh, I've been uh, lucky enough to see, and um, yeah, lucky enough to, to play with on Sunday tomorrow. I think Ewan said it the other day: when's the when, whenever is the right time to debut. I mean, guys just have to be ready when they're given the opportunity, and they either take it. Well, they don't, and I think, as I said before, he's he's had he's had an exceptional season with the Brumbies, and he's full of confidence, and uh, he's ready to take on the challenge. So um, it doesn't change my role in any way. I have every confidence in him, and uh, I guess all the other guys out there wearing the jersey. I think quite like everyone else who uh, who missed out, obviously on opportunity not only to be in the 23, but to start was disappointed, but. Uh, he's handled. I think he's handled himself exceptionally well. You know, he hasn't dropped his bundle. He hasn't had a sook about things. He's he's gone about training as he normally does. He's he's been really great for the team in in terms of I guess still wanting to have a say and influence and an input into how we're going to do things and run things. And I've been really impressed with Clyde. You know, the last couple of weeks. You know, we're not reinventing the wheel when it comes to to game styles. You know, we we've got a, a style that we want to play. It's quite simple, but we feel it's going to be very effective. Um, and you know it's a it's a work in progress, and we, we want to, our game style to be able to build on week on week on week, and, and bring different things to the table each week. And that's something that uh, you and certainly be big on. And we've got a, a specific idea to how to play this this game this week, and we'll have a look at how it goes. And then next week we might change a few things to to you know once we see obviously the All Blacks. I'm expecting has some new stuff that they uh, they haven't shown in in the the June international. So that's. Uh, that's another challenge for us, so you know we've got to get out there and, and play footy. I think Aaron Cruden, much like Matty, has been exceptional all season. Uh, and I, I think, to be fair to him, with the way he's played for the All Blacks and the Chiefs, uh, even if Dan was there, he'd probably be pushing for a starting position anyway. So um, they're, 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 they're an exceptional team and um, he'll just fit in and do his job accordingly. We get a, a familiarity by playing them regularly in Super Rugby with the individuals, obviously not, not the team, but you know we play the guys that are in that jersey week in, week out in, in Super Rugby and do well against them at that stage. So we need to take that confidence that we are, and that belief that we can get the job done. And that's something that uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we keep working towards. And that tomorrow night we've got to put it all into practice and uh, you know, hopefully get the result and then go to Wellington uh, with, with one nil up.